Hi everyone, welcome back to the Taylor Guitars World Forestry Tour. Today, touch down the Fijian Islands, the magical island of Fiji. Everybody dreams about going there, but most people have no idea that it's famous for its mahogany that the British planted 70 years ago. Thinking about sustainability, thinking about the future, they had the foresight to plant this mahogany. And today, the Fijians are benefiting from that and harvesting this fantastic mahogany, as well as replanting it for future generations. We're here in, in Fiji and we're looking at their mahogany plantations that they grow in bags. We saw those in the nursery and we're in an outplant situation. And so what that means is they're going along in a line, they're clearing an area with a machete and planting on this spacing. So they're, they're walking all the way through the forest here and planting these, these mahogany plants, like that. And they're doing really well, and the plant looks really good, but they also have quite a battle going on because they have a lot of vining weeds that want to come up. And so they have to come through here four times a year and clear these plants out. But it's pretty amazing because you can follow that line right on through the, through the forest so they can follow it. When they need to follow it as this grows up, they're gonna have to follow it, follow that stick all the way through. And there's another line that's just over there and another line and another line. And you can see this forest, how much work it is to get through here and plant all this. Here I am with my friend Bao. Now Bao is the owner, the founder of Tabs Investments. And Tabs is the company that has been bringing Fiji Mahogany to us at Taylor Guitars. This was a dream of yours and you've worked hard to make this relationship work with us. And, and uh, I want to thank you for that because while we've thank been here, I've seen the hard work that you've done and you've kind of made us famous here. You should be a dealer too. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, is, is that we've got great job potential supply potential here. Tell me a little bit about, about what we're standing in front of right here. This is just a beautiful sight. Well, what we're standing in front of right here, Bob, is uh, the future of uh, Fiji's mahogany industry. And uh, Fiji's resources is uh, a fragile one. As you know, with uh, mahogany being an endangered species in its endemic uh, area, uh, Fiji is, uh, mahogany is special. Uh, I believe because uh, our uh, volumes are not as big as people uh, anticipate them to be. So we want Fiji's mahogany to be used in the most valuable places. So that the returns can not only be useful to our economy, but most importantly, the landowners who lands to have these uh, mahogany plantations planted on. And also uh, to provide business opportunities to companies like Tabs Investments who are passionate about getting our mahogany to high-end users like Taylor Guitars and uh, we're privileged and uh, blessed to have this relationship because it's companies like Taylor Guitars who nurture companies like Tabs Investments in developing countries where it's extremely difficult to get capital to start your own business and uh, uh, our mahogany is one that affects everyone from uh, the industry uh, leaders locally down to the landowners and despite the difficulties that we face, our uh, goal and challenge is to see that it lasts long term, whether it be harvesting uh, that we're practicing now into uh, renewed replanted resources that we hope to supply companies like Taylor Guitars well into the future or into the next century. So Bao, tell me about partnering with the communities. I know that uh, Tabs Investments and, and the whole idea of Fiji uh, Mahogany is to partner with communities. Can you tell us a little bit about how that works? Uh, it's a it's a long term it's a long term goal it's a long term challenge. The immediate challenge that we face is the understanding that the, the local communities need to have about the mahogany industry um, in terms of uh, the value of mahogany as an endangered species and uh, the value that it can bring uh, to them and their communities. Uh, timber uh, mahogany timber in Fiji is is, is classed as just that. Uh, timber. Uh, so uh, uh, our role uh, in TABS Investments is also to try to educate 
the uh, local communities so that they can appreciate uh, the value of the mahogany mm -hmm. and where it can be used so that it can uh, realize that, that value. And what better way to do it than in high-end guitars like Taylor guitars. Yeah. Uh, so it's an ongoing exercise where we uh, continue to create the awareness uh, about uh, the uh, music uh, uh, instrument manufacturing segment. Uh, it's, uh, it's new to developing countries like Fiji, particularly ours with the uh, mahogany plantation resource. So uh, education and awareness is key right now with uh, rural communities. Yeah. Now one thing that I find that's, that's interesting here is the ground underneath these trees, as I understand it, Fijians own the land. They lease that land that's right. to the Fijian government or maybe a private investor and then that person does the agriculture or the forestry on top of that land so the land ownership remains in the hands of the Fijians. That's right. Mm -hmm. So the opportunity is definitely there, Bob. Uh, but uh, I, I think uh, our, uh, our grandfathers and forefathers who came up with legislation for the landowners to keep their rights to their land and, and lease it out other than selling is something that uh, we're very grateful for. And, and we're uh, talking about 99-year leases with options, so it gives an income stream right. to the landowners. That brings money into communities. Uh, that's right. And then we uh, we see jobs being created by the growing of the of the mahogany. And the interesting thing that I hear you say is this is a timber industry. That's right. right? It is a timber industry. Yeah, and, and it's something to be proud of. And it's something to be proud of. And uh, like you say, it brings opportunities for jobs to the uh, local communities. Uh, it also uh, develops their skill set, uh, their knowledge, and a little bit about uh, the mahogany as a timber, not only locally, but to uh, foreign uh, importers and uh, high value uh, manufacturers like yeah. Taylor Guitars. It also uh, paves the way to save natural forests because there's actually this great economy that can happen on plantations. And in my view, plantations have got to be the way of the future because it, they, can, they could be more profitable than taking down natural forests if they're managed properly. And we certainly see some beautiful trees out here. That's right, we're very proud of our plantations and 80% uh, of our timber industry is uh, derived from uh, plantations, uh, especially mahogany and pine. Yeah. Uh, but uh, mahogany is uh, of the greater value, so it's something that we look to develop and it's something that we look to appreciate and yeah. uh, create more awareness amongst the local communities so that they can take the initial uh, or initiative uh, steps to try and participate uh, more and in more detail yeah. uh, in the mahogany industry so that we can uh, uh, reach and maintain the value that it can bring to uh, Fiji's local yeah. mahogany industry. The world has pressure on mahogany. Fiji can help solve that, that pressure because you're growing it in plantations and it can help to Right. really preserve natural forests and we see that right here well as an endangered species around the world Bob you can see that mahogany is not endangered here in Fiji yeah it's absolutely it's true. Uh, our experience in a natural forest is that mahogany you find a good cuttable mahogany about one per hectare one every two and a half acres and yet here we've been driving and walking through plots of land for the last couple of days where there's dozens if not hundreds you know on, right. on that same type of ground big trees too so there's a lot of mahogany it should be able to supply things like guitars furniture flooring all of those types of things for for forever really full spectrum of options for end users yeah so this is for generations that's right it was planted by our forefathers with the opportunity to participate now and i believe it will also be here when my children and my grandchildren uh, wish to participate in the industry Fantastic. I've met your boys. They're absolutely boys. adorable. <laughs> <laughs> this project's different than other plantations we've seen. We've seen a lot of 10-year rotation projects, which we need because there's, there's certain uh, products, furniture that need that fast growth, but it's not that way here. No, it's not because this is a long-term project. It's not a short-term. Yeah, the rotation is 50 years and more sometimes. More. Yeah. It's uh, the, the patience of the Fijians 
astounds me. <laughs> well, the mahogany is part of the part of the the equation too because it That's grows right. slow. It grows slow, but a lot of the patience. A lot of people don't have the nerve to wait that long. So I salute you, my friend, for having the patience to to watch this stuff grow and take care of it until it's ready. And you're ahead of the curve. There are not very many places, I don't know of other places around the world, that have a 50 or a 60 and sometimes a 70 year head start. It's just wonderful. Uh, Bao, I just have to say thank you for having us. Your hospitality has been incredible. You've taken us all around this uh, island at, at great effort. Not just you, but a team, cars, people, getting us here, getting us there, getting us way up into the, this, we're up in a place where regular people can't go. You have to have permission to come here. I appreciate it. It's just been absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much. It's our absolute pleasure, Bob. Thank yeah. you very much for the opportunity. Looking for years to come. Continue on our journey around the world learning sustainable forestry. Our next stop will be the beautiful Hawaiian Islands and who knows what will await us there. <laughs>